Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Now this is the last section of the interview I did with Robert Mustard Sheehan and uh, I kept this separate because I thought it addressed something that needs to be talked about. The idea of, uh, of racism within Aikido. Now this exists I know in lots of martial arts. I've got friends that practice Kung Fu that experience this in China but I think it's something that needs to be talked about not just swept under the, the carpet as it were and uh, in some way addressed. So I'd just like to give my thanks once more to Robert Mustard Sheehan for participating in this fascinating conversation. And uh, if you guys have found this useful, smash everything below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And what I tell people sometimes true, and I believe this to be true, I can't speak for Aikikai, but I certainly can speak for Yoshinkan. There are some places you know, now that I think they teach better Yoshinkan Aikido than what's at the Yoshinkan Hambu Dojo. Hmm. But I also say that there's only one place you can get the Japanese experience. Yeah. Right? Uh, and But uh, I have been told that my dojo is considered one of the top places to learn Yoshinkan Aikido on the planet. And I would, I would also recommend Jotambu Sensei's dojo in Melbourne, and another good friend of mine who's top notch, his name is Jacques Paye Sensei. He's in Kyoto now. He was in California for a long time, but they, he re went back to Japan with his wife. He's been in Kyoto, I think, for about 15 years now, and he's absolutely top notch. But he's white, it's not the Yoshinkan Hambu Dojo. So, gotcha. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, the, so, so you, you've experienced, obviously, because you spent quite a long time in Japan. You've experienced yep. a bit of that um, round eye, gaijin, whatever you want to call it. Kind oh, of. yeah. Are you kidding? I mean, I even had a guy, this, this is a true story, Duncan. I even had a guy told me he hated me. I was at one of the uchi deshi, the Yoshinkan uchi, one of the uchi deshis was getting married and he invited all the teachers. And because I was one of the teachers, I went uh, to his wedding and a guy told me he hated me at a wedding. <laughs> he said, because, you know, Aikido is a Japanese martial art, and he said, this is his word, so I, I don't take it as truth, in the, but he said, the only person stronger than you in the Yoshinkan Hambu Dojo is Chida Sensei, and that's not right because it's a Japanese martial art. And, and I said, well, don't worry, next time we're together at the Dojo, we'll just practice together, if you like. <laughs> so he, but, was, yeah. he was just objecting because you're, you're a big unit, and basically you uh... Yeah, because I was white. Yeah. Right. And and I was a teacher, and I I was I think um, I was pretty good, I guess, you know. And all the foreigners that were at the Hombu Dojo were were very serious, Duncan, and we trained seriously. And we, without sounding pompous, we kind of left the Japanese behind, and a lot of them didn't like it. Some of them almost didn't care. But the truth is, you know, in Japan, if you're working, you're working all the time. It's very rare where you can, you know, and so. A lot of people, seriously, and I don't know, that must sound too controversial, but most of the people in Japan aren't that good at it. You know, they, they like it, but they're not that good at it because they're just too busy. They're working right. and they can't really go. If they belong to a professional dojo, then all the uchi deshi usually are really good because that's all they do. That's their job. Gotcha. Their job is Aikido. And even at the Yoshinkan Hambu Dojo, People misunderstand, Duncan. If you become an Uchi Deshi, it's not to it's not to get good at Aikido. Right? It's to serve Gozo Shoda Kancho Sensei and his the teachers under him and Yoshinkan Aikido. The fact that the fact that it's an Aikido dojo, you have to train. Right? One of my teachers, Takino Sensei, for three years, he didn't really train at the dojo very much. He lived at the dojo, but he didn't train very much because he was Gozo Shoda's driver. Right. So he would be driving Gozo Shoda everywhere, which is probably the best training. Well, absolutely 100%. That was probably the best training. But he wasn't actively like in the dojo moving. He was, you know, and if Gozo Shoda went somewhere to do a demonstration, he would drive there, get beat up and then have to drive back. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's full on full time training. And they lived in the dojo. And these guys usually did that for 10 years. Yeah. Can I?